Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I say thank you and welcome. Um, you're more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, dislike, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do. I welcome you to do that. <laughs> Needless to say, if you found my video nine times out of 10, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that there is a message here for you. Okay, so let's get into this message, okay? This is an urgent, urgent message. I don't even know how to get into this. It's about, well, I woke up about three in the morning, okay? I had a dream about people, people that I had never met, people that I had never seen, that were all tied together, okay? Women, children, a lot of children, families tied together by the hand and the foot, okay? So I started meditating and this is what's so crazy. I had this dream a while ago, but it's just now making sense to me now. Stay with me, okay? Because this is going to get really, really interesting and or deep. I pray whoever's supposed to find this message will find this message, okay? Please listen to me. So it's come to my understanding that spiritually there is another group of coven, another coven of witches, okay? Um but primarily of a Latino descent, okay? Also known as brujeria, people that practice palomayombe, people that practice uh, the dark side of Santeria. These are not bad religions, okay? Everything is energy. However, these people have been doing this for years. They're soulless people. They are the children of the lost. They will never be able to ascend to the light. This is them right now, okay? Hang in there with me as I explain this. The reason why they've tied everybody together is so that they can harness their energy and they only attack pure people like beings, okay? Needless to say, people have died. People have been killed. They never thought that people would figure it out because I kept saying, why did I dream about all these people, I'm like, who are these people, okay? Myself at that time included, okay? So what happens is people's lives start to fail, their, their health starts to fail, they're tied, they feel a pull, they think they're going crazy, they feel things hitting their feet, they feel things hitting their hands, their elbows, they feel things hitting their head because they're tied to other people that are going through the same experience. Remember, these people are soulless people. They cannot ascend to the light. They can never go into the light. They're bound to this realm, okay? This is why they attack light beings. They make it difficult for people to move forward. So then people start thinking, okay, I'm going to move away. I'm going to get away. I'm going to move. And guess what happens? This energy follows them because they're tied to hundreds and thousands of people of which they're sucking the light out of them, okay? Feel me here. If you've ever felt a pull, if you've ever felt something on the left side of your body trying to enter your body, your heart space, it's because these people need light beings to survive. Without these people being tied together, these people are weak. They cannot survive, okay? We're going to get into it. I had pulled a couple of cards earlier and I saw that they had paid a lot of money. When I say people have been doing this for years, this is like a family secret. This is like darkness. This is like, like right now something's coming from my mouth. Whatever that energy is, it does not want this message to get out. However, the energy knows that their time is up. Okay. A lot of people don't believe in the devil and demons. Okay. Let me tell you something. Whatever you believe in, there is certainly a dark realm. There is certainly dark entities, dark energies, wandering souls who are miserable and tormented who can never go into the light. <laughs> My angel to you could look like a demon and vice versa. Let's get into it. Show me these foul, wicked demons. Ooh, we got the queen of swords in reverse. Let me tell you something about the queen of swords in reverse. This is a dangerous person. This is a destructive, moody person demonic energy when i mean by demonic energy i mean there's no love there's no love these people are soulless some of them have been put into this since they were children they really didn't have a choice however 
there's always an opportunity to ascend to the light and they chose not to. These people believe that they're in a position of power. They know that their time is up and they're trying to take as many people as they can with them. I can't make it up. Look at this. This is how they bound people. I saw people tied by the foot. I saw people tied by the hand. I saw people, yeah, because people are waking up and they're walking away. So what happens? These people are working possibly in groups of threes, okay? If not more, okay? Because they had a lot of people tied together. A lot of people. They're losing power, okay? A Scorpio could be the one waking everybody up. A somebody in the bloodline. I don't know, but we're going to get into it. These people, I, I'm... Forgive me if I feel like I'm scrambling. I'm just shocked. I'm shocked at the level that these people have gone to for the extent that they have and for how long that they have, okay? But they know that their time is up. Yeah, these people are literally the devil. Whatever you conceive the devil to be that's the opposite of light, whether you believe it or not, this is what they are. They're bound to the devil and they wanted to tie other people to them so that they could take as many souls to hell with them. They know that they're going to burn in a cavern of hell. Don't play with these dimensions. There are caverns of hells. Okay. Huh. Archangel Michael, divine ancestors, please, I beg you, help me to channel this message for the collective. Reveal to us what we need to see about these people that have all been tied together. Yeah, I told you. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. They've tied people together. It seems like just when you're about to move forward, everything goes bad. You couldn't figure it out. You could not figure it out, okay? Every time you started a project, you lose, you know, enthusiasm for it. These people were draining your gifts, but they only have power if they drain from the other people that they have you tied to. Are you getting this? Please. They've paid a lot of money, a lot of money. So some of the biggest practitioners that are in the dark realm are sick, are dying, losing power. They, they've tied children, babies. I saw children, babies. Of all different races. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You could have moved. You could have been like, okay, I'm getting out of this house. Thinking that you're going crazy. Some people that they tied people to, they committed suicide. They couldn't figure out what was going on. These were people of the light. These were people that were elected to do something great. And their spirits are crying out from the underworld. They want to be free. These people are burning in hell and they know that they will. Once their spirit leaves their body, they are trapped here. So they want to take as many people as they can with them. Please follow me on this. Show us more Holy Spirit. Reveal it because their time is up. We're the gods of the earth and they can't do nothing about it. Period. Show us what else we need to see, Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors. They've attacked tarot card readers. Didn't I tell you? These people are sneaky and deceptive. They present themselves to be people of the light. They're not people of the light. If you go to their page, they have nothing but Bible scriptures. They do not believe in God. Whatever Holy Spirit that they felt, they felt because they were tied to a chosen one. They were tied to somebody of light. They attacked children. They killed people. Do you understand? I saw so many people tied together. Could be a Taurus. Don't necessarily have to be, but this is definitely a practitioner. Show us more because the time is up. We ain't scared. Didn't I tell you they paid a lot of money? You all would not believe how much money they paid. They pulled together and, and got their money together. To pay somebody powerful, they wanted to play God in your life and a lot of other people's lives and their time is up. They're crying out to the most high, but these people have fallen from grace. Can you imagine if the creator of all things ignores your prayer? <laughs> Can you imagine not having a soul? What that might feel like? No joy, no luck, no, I mean, literally in a cavern of hell. These people are dropping as I speak. I mean, they're going out without a fight. I mean, they're like, they're not going down without a fight. They're like, hell, if I'm going to hell, I'm taking you with you. To hell you are. No, to hell you not. No, to hell you not. As I said in one of my other comments, heaven by day, hell by night. These people go to demonic church. They pray from seven at night to seven in the morning. Reveal it all, spirit. But see, they came across me. 
see, and I'm praying for every single soul that has ever been victim to these people. These are these people now. They will be in poverty. You will see them fall from grace before your eyes. This could have been people at your workplace. This could have been people in your neighborhood. They have to come together because they're weak. They have no energy. They have no light. Hmm. The helping hand of the Most High is here to help these people. Sending earth angels, loosing war into the devil's camp. And I'm not playing. If you straddle in the fence on dark and light, you better find out which side you on. Huge betrayal. This could have been a friend. This could have been family. This could have been somebody. I mean, whoever it is. I'm seeing people from Puerto Rico, Cuba, Mexico, uh, primarily Latino descent. I'm seeing a couple of other races. You know what I mean? Possibly Nigerian, whatever it was. But these people were powerful together. Some, when I tell you they wanted power, 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 power. Yeah. These people are crazy. Collaboration. This is what fell out in my hand. Working together. Working together. Toil and labor, day and night, day and night, relentlessly, every single day, getting up and attacking these light beings. Justice is here. The helping hand of the Most High heard the prayers. Some of you could have been, could have had your throat chakras blocked. Why? Because life and death is in the power of your tongue. And they knew that if you could get your message to the Most High, if you could get your prayers out to your divine Beings that are also connected like you are, they all we had to do was speak into existence and they would drop like flies as they are at this time. I see them going for people's tongues. These people were very sophisticated. If you ever felt anything hitting your foot, hitting your hand, your eye twitching, your head, your back, your hip, you were tied and bound to people that were in toxic energy that are bound to the devil. Spirit says they've been crowned with demons. Oh, I don't believe in demons. It's just energy. Okay. You try to have one that's on you holding you down and you're going to find out and you're going to know. They're going for the light beings because they know that their time is up. Still something's coming from my mouth. They wanted to tie a cord to your throat so you couldn't speak your truth. Because the truth cuts like a sword and breaks all this up. Innocent people. When I tell you I woke up and I said, oh my God. So if you felt something hit your ear all of a sudden, hit your chest, hit your heart, whatever. This is what these people were doing. This is what they were doing. Tying into your energy, they've killed divine beings. These divine beings are now tormenting them in the spirit realm. You can't, you can't touch a chosen one. They could only play on people's weaknesses. Nobody's perfect. They didn't want people to be delivered. They kept pulling pe people back into toxicity. So whatever the weakness was, these people thought they were God. Karma's here, boo. That wheel spins. Let's go. Show me more Holy Spirit so I can get this message out to the entire universe. Holy Spirit. Yeah, these people are in deep regret. Don't feel sorry for them. When you start to see people drop dead, get sick, all of a sudden, the minute that energy lifts up off of you, they send suicide spirits, anxiety spirits, depression. You don't have no depression. All of a sudden, oh, well, my mother suffered from depression. And so I have depression. No, you don't. You need to be delivered. That is a spirit. You have to call that spirit by name. You have to be delivered from whatever that is. Period. It's a spirit. Show me more. Rebuild it all, Holy Spirit. Shed light into these demonic ass people. This is what they got coming. You see the graveyard? They attack children. Let me tell you something. People think we come in peace that we ain't prepared for motherfucking war. But when you touch a child, oh, you're going to bring something out of me. You're going to bring something up out of me that you're going to think the devil was on your ass. And it is nothing but the wrath of the most high. You can call judgment. 
You don't have to get ugly. You don't have to go do nothing dirty. Keep your hands clean and call judgment. You lose judgment angels. You lose war angels. They are real. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You got light beings. You got extraterrestrials from other realms and planets that are aware of what's going on. And this was all divinely orchestrated. Why? Because I keep saying we led these people to the slaughter. The people that were taken out were sacrificial lambs. Their spirits are, are screaming in the afterworld. Because these people have to be brought down. Look at all the people they killed. This is not even a, a, a third, a fourth. Spirits say this ain't even 1% of the people that they killed. Spirits say they wanted to wear the skin of the holy ones. They had never felt joy and light they're spiritual vampires some of you might start sneezing all of a sudden that's a spirit coming out you might feel nauseous and want to throw up that's a spirit coming out how else do you think that you delivered how else do you think the deliverance happens through vomiting you see they don't tell you the real deal they don't tell you people don't tell you how demons come out spirits come out They've tied to your lovers. Every time you fell in love with somebody, it was like a force was behind you, following you, some dark energy. People didn't like you all of a sudden. Their beauty spells are wearing off. They had you tied at the hip to other people. The only way they could attack you was through by way of the energy of these light beings. Spirits say these people are becoming free. At this very moment, just because this message is going out into the ethers, they broke up homes, marriages, twin flame, divine unions. Remember, they can only play on your weaknesses. So if you have a weakness of anger, who do you think they're going to attack? If you have a, a spirit of gluttony, who do you think they're going to attack? If you have high blood pressure, who do you think they're going to attack? They're not that creative. These people can only feed off of your fear. They went towards people that were on a divine awakening who were in a weak state. When you're going through the dark night of the soul and you have to fight, you know, karmic energies from past lifetimes, you are in a vulnerable state. Some of you could have been losing your taste like, oh, do I have COVID? What is, they attacked light beings. They separated mothers from their children. Your children could have started acting out. Your children can see spirits. What did Kanye West say? Kids see ghosts sometimes. Kids see ghosts sometimes. Kids see spirits. Come on. Do not come for the people I love because then I get ugly. Then I get scarier. Don't play. We here to shake up the world. These people are eating what they put out. Let they let them all fall one by one. Let them have a slow death. You know why? Because they're in constant purgatory. The veil has been lifted. This is scorpionic energy. Death. I said, Spirit, what's coming? Spirit was like, clearly, death. They're gonna beg to die and can't. They sent suicide spirits. People, I mean, when I say they destroyed families, these people have flown overseas to go through ceremonies to get more power. They wanted power. They wanted jobs. They wanted, yeah, break this up. I don't give a damn about no fame. I don't care about no likes. I care about doing what the most high called me to do. Yes, I got fire up under my ass right now. Yes, I have fire because this fell, the Ten of Swords fell right on top of death. Don't that also look like a coffin? So where do you think these people going to go when they die? When their spirit leaves their body, do you think they're going to send to the highest white light? I don't think so. Absolutely not. They're bound to this world. They're the children of APAP, not of the royal high vibrational bloodline and their time is up
I'm enraged. I'm angry. Rightfully so. And it takes me a lot to get angry because I made it to high priestess status. I made it to empress status. I'm not bragging. I paid with blood, sweat, and tears. But when you touch children, if y'all could see what I saw in my dream, I was in somebody's living room in a house that I had never seen. I was in somebody's house and I saw a family tied together, a husband tied to a wife. They trying to figure out what's wrong. Why did our marriage go bad? It seems like everywhere we go, everything just fails. And they're like, I know I'm a good person. I know I'm of the light. I know I'm of God. People reading their Bibles and their prayers are not getting heard. They went for the throat chakra because they wanted to put spirits in your mouth. You go somewhere, you feel something hitting your eye. You feel your eye getting blurry. These people wanted to see through you. They wanted to live through the light. They wanted to live in the divine being skin. But their DNA ain't of your DNA. If these people didn't exist, why wouldn't you want? I mean, if they didn't exist, then you wouldn't fight so hard to get close to the most high. Spirit is saying. Because now it's like, why God? Why? The creator of all. God says, don't put your understanding on my understanding. If you really, really wanted to see God, you wouldn't even be able to fathom it. There's only a few chosen people that have a direct connection to God. They wanted to cut off your connection and your direction to God. Oh, I don't believe in God. Oh, I'm Muslim. Oh, I'm this. I'm that. Shut up. There's one supreme being above all. The end. The all-knowing, omnipresent. I don't care if you Baptist, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, da, 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 whatever. There's one supreme being above all. And that supreme being has chosen a selected few to come into the earth and to free people. How does a song go? If I rule the world, I'm freeing all my sons. All of my children. What did he say? Let my people go. It's the children part for me. You understand me? These people have caused miscarriages. They've broken up relationships. They've broken up divine unions of people that weren't weak. They were just on a spiritual path. So they hit them where they were vulnerable. This is them now. Some of them will commit suicide. You're going to hear about it. Watch your phone calls. Because as soon as some of that energy breaks up, it's the first person that calls. Oh, it was her? Oh, it was him? Yeah, because they felt the cord being cut. Lovers in reverse, they broke up divine beings. Why? Because when two people are divinely connected, whatever your sexuality is, this is not about being biased. If you have a divine soulmate, a high level vibrational soulmate, a divine being that you're supposed to be with and the divine has orchestrated for you to come together. Why? Because two are better than one. You're powerful together. Some of these divine ones share the same soul. They wanted to break up those unions so that they could never overcome. Their goal is to keep you in isolation, away from people. People look at you. Oh, she's crazy. You know, he's a little off. Oh, she's schizophrenic. You was never crazy. You were never off. In the middle of my deck. They did a lot of moon magic around the cycles of the moon. But guess what? They did it with your energy. Without your energy, they don't have no soul. So why you think they holding on to you for dear life? Listen to what they say. Oh, I need your energy. Oh my God, I love you. <laughs> Spirit is saying, walk the hell away from these people and leave them out in the cold. They're going to be broke, homeless. I'm talking about... The world is about to get upset because if I'm seeing it, it's other divine beings around the world seeing it. Trust and believe that.
Trust and believe that. They think they could elevate to the 5D, holy realms. When the holy ones is in the 20D, 100D, what are you talking about? They didn't even know them realms existed because we have the ancient secrets to open certain doors and secrets. This is our time. This is the year of balance. 2023 equals seven. Luck, balance. Last year was their last year. They tried it again. You can't blame them for being consistent. Now they're guarded. Now they're paranoid. Now they're trying to call. Now the practitioners are getting sick. Now the practitioners are dying. The most powerful spiritual practitioners, dark magic, dark practitioners, devil worshipers, whatever you think he is, Satan, darkness, conjuring up old demons. I'm talking about old devils since the beginning of time. Some of these devils and demons that they conjuring up and, and, and torment the spirits don't even know who Jesus is. Oh, Jesus wasn't real. No, he was a real person. He's definitely a freaking ascended master too. It's a whole bunch of ascended masters. Why? Because they mastered themselves. Do not get caught up in the story about Jesus. It's a great example of enlightenment. The whole book is in parables. It's not literal. People get caught up in the politics. If they could separate everybody one from one another... Then they, everybody fights each other and they don't even look at the information. They're too busy saying, oh, being Catholic is right. Oh, being Muslim is right. Oh, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Shut up. There's one God. They want to keep the divine beings divided. Some of you went into your dark side trying to fight darkness. You can't go into the dark to fight dark. You got to stay in the light. I hear purgatory. <laughs> These people thought it not robbery to be equal with the most high. But we're the gods of the earth and they can't do nothing about it. Time's up. You killed people, children, babies, broke up families, put people out homeless. People that... <laughs> Needless to say, do I have to say anything else? Magic. 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 Dark, demonic magic. The biggest trick that the enemy ever pulled was to make you feel like he did not exist. Because why? They want you in an ego. They want you. Ego is a good thing when you need to use it. But it's not wise to think that you're greater than God. Even if the story about Satan being the most beautiful angel, wanting to be equal with the creator, even if that story is not real, if you can see it is a great example, how the hell you going to tell the creator that created everything in the world, the birds and the bees, fish in the sea that you ain't never even seen, that I'm greater than you. That is a demonic energy. How can you go against the creator? Even if you don't believe that story, even if it's a fable, take the message from it. Brujeria I hear. Dark brujeria. Oh, this was a master plan. Oh, we've taken down so many. Oh, this will be easy. Huh. I don't give a damn what they think about me. If they could have killed me, they would have did, did so. And they tried. Trust me. I got my own story. I'll write a book about it one day. But right now, I got to help people. Yeah, they created illusions. <laughs> Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. What is an illusion? Let me paint this picture for you. Why? Because it landed right on top of the Nine of Swords. You really thought your husband was cheating on you. You really thought you were going crazy. This accompanied with the seven of cups is illusion. How do I know? Because the king of cups is here. Water, intuition, mind, played with your crown chakra so that you couldn't ascend. <laughs> oh, we're going to reveal them today. 
All you got to do is light a reversible candle. Pray over it. You can play this message as you burn in the candle. I don't care. Watch that candle turn black. Because this is them. I just cut the deck. They hurt children. This is a big, 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 big organization. Huge. Oh, yeah. The sun is here. You know why? Because we're the light. We're shedding light in the darkness. Everything that they've done is being illuminated. Nothing is hidden no more. They have no spiritual protection. Their ancestors are tormenting them. Their ancestors are under judgment. See, people don't know how deep this spiritual ranking goes. When you get to a certain level, you're being tested by the most high. I'm giving you gifts of clairvoyance, clear audience, gifts to see into other worlds. Are you going to abuse your power? Why? There's monitoring angels. There's messenger angels. There's people that document every single thing that you do in every single lifetime. <laughs> Don't tell me about the most high. I say that with so much, so much humility to be here and to be able to speak to y'all with the hopes that this is going to save your life. No, you're not suicidal. Cut the cord. Pray for everybody that's tied to everybody else. Because if we all come together, they fall. The biggest trick they ever pulled was keeping us separate from one another, thinking that one re religion is better than the other. You're either of the light or you're of the dark. We all can go into the dark. We all can go into the dark. This is eight of wands. You know what this means? Being cut off from communication from the most high. The most, look, these people are way down. I just seen a shadow shoot behind me. You're not crazy. You seeing shadows. Those are wandering souls, baby. You see shadows shooting, dark things shooting across the room. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. The way and the light. Y'all are y'all are believers, I'm telling you, of the most high. You are chosen. You've been chosen. Some of these people have gone through lifetimes chasing you through portals. Some of you were burned at the stake in past lives. Some of you were assassinated. Some of you were shot in the head so you could not remember your past life. You were great. They killed you then, Spirit is saying, but they cannot take you down now. This message is going to rock the world. I promise you. I promise you. These people are weighed down to the ultimate. They're crying out to the most high. But what God do you serve? We don't understand that. Your God was in the graveyard. This way you buried the divine ones. Now God is opening up the gates for these divine ones that died in the name of the most high. That were pure people, ministers, pure people. God is opening up the gates of the underworld so that they can get their justice. These people are being haunted at night. They can't sleepy, weepy. I feel absolutely no remorse. No, no, no remorse. No forgiveness. Nothing. Whatever they get, they deserve. They have killed people, children, babies in the womb, miscarriages, grandparents, pastors, priests, everything. The only way they got their power was from the divine beings. That was the only time they felt God. Poor little lost ones. You know why? Because all they had to do was come into the light. That was their opportunity was to come into the light. God put a divine being in their life. God allowed them to sacrifice divine beings. Certain people had to pay the price for me to even say this message. Uh, let not their life be in vain. These people are crazy. Spirits of confusion. Feeling hazy. You know, energies that come and go. Left arm hurting. Your heart hurting. Why? Because your heart is how you manifest. King of swords. This is you. Why is that sword in his hand? Because it's the sword of truth. And the sword of truth cuts like a knife. They're looking for a supply. Light supply. No. Put that back. Sorry, that's my son. Why? 
because you're a star. You've been a star. You were a star in all your lifetimes. You were a star in the last life. They took you out. They assassinated you. This time, time is up. We are the new ascended masters. Some of us ain't coming back. Some of us had to come down off our throne as ascended masters to come down here and help out with all this junk. Putting us in positions to be spiritual practitioners. Move forward. This is our time. Go, go, go. Whatever you want to do, <clears throat> whatever you're doing, it should be contributing to the, hum to the, to the safety and the well-being of humanity. What good is it to have a gift and you sit on it? If you got the gift of prophecy, the gift of dreams, then you need to go out into the trenches. Some of you have moved from home to home trying to figure it out. <laughs> Corona is a god of plagues. She's a goddess that's on the run. Oh, I have coronavirus. No, idiot. She's a demigod who's mad and pissed off because they keep conjuring her up. How the hell people didn't got Corona four or five times? The hell? Oh, I had Corona like four or five times. I haven't had my taste buds in five months and ten months. And a year. Come on. Spirit say the bell is thin. They can't play no more. Time's up. The devil's enamored, enamored with you. The devil's not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know. Time's up. Cycle's closed. This is you. Approach your throne. These people will burn in hell for all eternity and be silenced in the grave for what they did. I'm talking powerful people. I don't give a damn if they like my channel or not. My Facebook page was flagged. I do not care. I did not come here to stay. And once you overcome death so many times in the body, what are they going to try to do? Another death, another death spell? They just thrusting me into my ascension. Because when you're marked and chosen by God, you cannot. You can't be touched. Don't you know if they could have killed you, they would have killed you already? Yes, you tasted death. Yes, you were dying because you were attached to people that were dying. They want you bound to them because they bound to nothing. They have no energy. They can't smile and laugh unless they're tied into you. They have no joy. They have no luck. So what do you think is going to happen to everything they've manifested off of your energy? And please forgive me if I got tongue tied in this because when I saw the babies in my dream... My eyes are twitching right now because they want to see who's putting the message out. Don't get it twisted. You going to the doctor. Oh, I have, I have Crohn's disease. I have lupus. I have, oh, my hip. Oh, my, no, 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 no. You ain't got a damn thing. You got energetic vampires trying to tie into your energy. Go to the doctor. They can't find nothing. You know why your tongue is dry and you can't taste? Because <laughs> you tied to somebody dying. They wanted you bound to them. They wanted to be your God. Period. Give me one more card for the collective spirit. Show me what else I need to see. Show me what else I need to see. Huh? You think I'm playing. Didn't I just say my eyes were twitching? These people are under judgment. They didn't believe in God. They didn't believe in the most high. But they do now and it's too late. Can you imagine if the Most High turns a deaf ear to you? That you just praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. They needed your sincere heart. They needed your sincere energy to even tap into the Most High. And they were thirsty, bloodthirsty vampires. Like, oh my God, it's a light. Oh, I, I can feel. I can feel. I can breathe. I feel light. They needed your light. The opportunity for them to come out of the darkness. But they chose to try to take your power. Thirsty, scared. This is a spine card. No, you don't need glasses. Your eyes are getting blurry because somebody is trying to see through you. Your eyes are the window to your soul. You're moving forward. Underneath this is the sword of truth. Because the truth cuts like a knife. As I speak, children are being freed from these demonic people. 
They've taught their own children. They've sacrificed their own family. You got babies in devil church right now getting raised up so they can be the next generation of, of, of just demonic ass energy. These poor little babies. They go through ceremonies to get crowned with demons. Oh, a demon's just energy. Yeah, they crown them with evil ancestors. You think all your ancestors are nice? No, they're not. So they take little babies, they take little ones in their family and they crown them with these old demonic ancestors. And they let them live through these children. These children never really have a chance to be free. They souls don't have a chance to even start out and be free. These people are praying right now as we speak. But who are they praying to? Them, them demonic forces, them gens, them deep evil forces are not faithful to them. That dark energy, there's no joy. Just imagine being in a world where you can't feel your own spirit in your body. They wanted you to be cut off from the most high. But just know that this time was divinely orchestrated to happen this way. Period. Until the next video. Peace be with you.